21 year old Mackenzie Hupke of Lacey is at the fight of her life. Five years battling cancer, 32 surgeries later, and yet she still has a positive mindset. But she does have an unsettling concern in the back of her mind. I can't even imagine what my, what my bill in full looks like from all the different hospitals I've been to. Mackenzie was diagnosed with stage 4 squamous cell carcinoma on March 19, 2015. The doctor's prognosis was that this would be a terminal case, but with quality care and a robust Medicaid program, Mackenzie has made it this far. When she was diagnosed, you know, I made the decision to not tell her what her prognosis was because I had said to her oncologist, if we tell her, what you told me, then that will be what happens. And instead, we're just going to tell her how to get through these next steps. Beth Hupke is essential to Mackenzie's journey. She's been there for every one of the surgeries and treatments, but she is frustrated that it is up to our health care system to decide whether or not her daughter could receive life-saving treatments. And I'm already seeing bills come in her name. And, you know, what parent, you know, you worry about sending your kid to college and that impact of them on them financially. But she's going to have financial impacts from college and her health. There's no no plan if the Affordable Care Act is taken away. There's currently no plan for what is going to be next. But fortunately, Mackenzie has a passion for the arts. And she tells me that it is imperative to her mental health. The way that I've always coped with it is music, so I sing, I play guitar, I try to play piano, uh, I do theater, I really, I love the arts and music and how it really helps me um, to calm down sometimes, you know, everyone has, you know, the mental health, mental health is a big struggle for a lot of people and, you know, in a situation like this, it's kind of inevitable to have anxieties and some stress and, and things like that. But this past spring, Mackenzie had yet another roadblock from recovery. She woke up one day nearly deaf and needed a cochlear implant to restore her hearing, something she would not have been able to afford without her health care. We've seen just outpatient procedure bills of over $200,000. Um, that doesn't include any of her inpatient procedures. I see a bill for one MRI that I've had, and I have MRIs done every three months when I'm on treatment, sometimes even sooner. And, you know, I'm going to have MRIs done for the rest of my life. <laughs> and um, so seeing like a, the bill for one MRI, it's just crazy to see thousands of dollars, you know, just know that if you didn't have health care or anything to like cover this, you would need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Mackenzie starts immunotherapy next week after a two month insurance holdup. She is also cleared for another four treatments for now. But in the meantime, she continues to sing and participate in the theater for all to enjoy. But I actually put on a cabaret on my Facebook page. So instead of, you know, doing a live performance, I put together this cabaret on my Facebook page where a bunch of my friends who sing joined me. Um, and we got to sing for anyone who came to watch on Facebook. And uh, we, it was a fundraiser for childhood cancer awareness and it went really, really well. It was really fun. I used to say Mackenzie's smile um, is the reason why. She literally d never stops smiling. Mackenzie's plan is to continue to fight for her health and continue to sing for all who will listen. Reporting from Lacey for New Jersey News Network, I'm Kimberly Kravitz.